Welcome to Out of the Box from Hudson County Community College. In these podcasts, we bring you timely discussions about education, people, programs, events, issues, and hopefully solutions that affect the education and enrichment of the people of Hudson County. I'm Chris Reber, president of Hudson County Community College and your podcast host. Today we're going to be wearing masks just in the interest of safety, and I've even removed my glasses as a result. We are delighted today to be talking about a program that is a real point of pride at Hudson County Community College, and that's our theater arts program, which has uh, received national acclaim and regional acclaim. And uh, I'm delighted to have with me today Assistant Professor Joseph Gallo, who is the coordinator of our theater and film program, and who actually started our program. Joe, thank you so much. Thank you for having for being me. here. It's an honor to have you. And also, I'm delighted to introduce a current Hudson County Community College student. Rosella Lopez is joining us today. Rosella is majoring in theater arts and actually has written a play that is going to be performed here virtually in a podcast for our annual theater uh, festival on December 18th. Wonderful having you here. And I might also add, Rosella is an international student. She moved here from Rome, where she grew up, and uh, has been here for about four years. And uh, so we're anxious to, to hear about her experience in the United States. We have um, up to a third of our students uh, who have come from foreign countries, and it adds to the rich diversity of our, uh, of our college. So Professor Gallo, if you would, yes. tell us a little bit not only about the program, but about yourself. You have um, so many awards and recognitions that um, it would take too much time for me to, to name them all, but share a little bit about uh, the work that you do in Hoboken and sure, some, of the, sure, um, sure. Yeah, some of the awards and honors that you've received. Sure, well, uh, I am a tenured professor here at the college. Uh, I am the uh, Kennedy Center uh, Award winner for Innovative uh, Teaching in Theater. Uh, I also work at uh, Mile Square Theater in Hoboken, New Jersey, where I am the playwright in residence. I am also a, an actor, producer, and director. I've worked uh, off Broadway and regionally, and um, I, you know, I think that's enough. I don't really want to go. <laughs> uh, and There's also, more, uh, yes. but uh, but wow, are we ever uh, grateful that you are part of the HCCC family? Thank you, thank you. It's a, and it's tell, a pleasure. Tell us about the program. Sure, uh, the program. Well, I was hired here in 2007 to teach creative writing. And uh, the first thing I noticed that was that there were no uh, theater classes here at the college. And so uh, I asked Harvey Rubenstein, who, was my, who is and was my mentor here, he had hired me. And I said, how, how come? And he said, well, because we don't have a theater. And I said, well, really, you don't need a, a theater to begin a program, you just need an empty space. And so he asked me if I would, be, uh, if I would consider creating a class for the college, which I did. Uh, we ran the course, it, it filled up, um, and I was asked if I wanted to create a second class, which I also did, uh, also it filled up, and then I was asked if I would um, consider creating a major for the college, which I agreed to, and it took, um, it took us six years, actually, to get approval, and uh, we've been up and running since 2012. We have somewhere between 40 and 45 majors, and um, we are uh, a great, great, great place for um, students who are interested in uh, exploring theater, whether you have um, experience or not. And it's a great, great jumping off point for either a four-year program or to go into New York City and uh, begin work uh, either professionally or to continue your studies at a studio. It's a wonderful part of our academic program, one that sometimes um, we don't talk enough about because we are um, always talking about culinary arts and STEM and nursing, which are anchor programs here and which we are very proud of. But this program is really special. And um, I might also add that in addition to the theater arts and film courses that are part of this program, we have a really rich and I think nationally distinctive uh, cultural arts program here that includes um, 1,250 original uh, pieces of art that have been donated over the years and that pervade all of our buildings. We have a beautiful gallery and a, a curator and all that is also tied into our larger academic program. So, um, and this is a program that's really growing. Let's talk about it from a student's perspective. Mm -hmm. Rosella, tell us 
if you would, how you're enjoying your Hudson County Community College experience and studying in the United States. Oh, well, honestly, um, I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to go to college in the first place, but it was always a dream of my mother that at least one of her children would go to college. And I remember telling her, okay, I'll do it, I'll go to college, but I'm not gonna study nursing, I'm, I'm gonna do theater. And, um, <laughs> And so when I found that Hudson County had a theater program, I told her that that's where I was gonna go. Um, I've never liked school, <laughs> to be honest. But I, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> but I am enjoying all the classes that I've been taking here so far. I feel like the teachers not only are very knowledgeable about their subject, but they truly like care about their students mm -hmm. and letting them like express themselves and you know just learn while having fun <laughs> which is something which is, that I like. <laughs> which is learning is fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so glad you're having a good experience and um, tell us about the play that you wrote that's going to be performed here on December 18th. Oh okay so when Professor Gallo first told us about this um, project, I guess you can call it that. Um, he said to focus a lot on the sound. And I've been taking the light rail to go to work almost every day. And I realized that that was the perfect setting for my play because, you know, you hear the train like driving and <laughs> the, the doors opening and closing. And what I like to talk about the most is probably uh, love and relationship. And I wanted to explore that during this period of time, how COVID has impacted how people meet other people. And I wanted my play to be fun and lighthearted because we need laughter during this time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah, I decided to write a play from a male point of view and about him being interested in a girl that he sees on a train almost every day, and yeah. <laughs> I'm anxious to see it. And what's it called? What's the title? Uh, it's called She Notes Me Not. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, Dr. Reber, let yeah. me also just clarify some things here. Because of the pandemic, uh, normally our theater festival is held live actually in this very space. But because of uh, the obvious uh, concerns with the pandemic and getting together live, I have uh, refigured the, the festival this year to be a podcast. So we went into um, the semester back uh, in September, and the idea was that our intro to playwriting students would write plays that would be um, perfectly configured for the podcast format, which is why Rosella was mentioning sound as a, uh, as a key element, and she's an outstanding, wonderful writer, <laughs> and that is really the key element to theater, is that, is that live you know, experience that you have, that communion you have between audience and, um, and uh, performers. So sure. we're doing the best we can. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think doing really, really well. Ro Rosella, will, will anyone from Rome be watching the play? Uh, maybe my family was there. <laughs> How cool is that? Uh, Rosella, tell us a little bit about uh, your future. Do you have a career goal? Are you planning future education? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure. <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I would love to continue, whether it's just um, acting or playwright, because uh, this is my first time taking a playwright class, and I am enjoying it a lot. And I discovered like a new love for creating writing, so I might pursue that too as well. I'll need to think about it more. You're in such a, a, a phenomenal area, Greater New York City, mm -hmm. with the, maybe the most dynamic metropolitan area in the world. Sure is. Um, with so many resources. Yeah. Uh, you have so many options. And Professor Gallo, can you tell us a little bit about what our students, where our students go when they transfer? Well, really they have, you know, they have multiple options. I mean, we have, um, over the course of uh, my time here, uh, we have sent 
uh, students on to NYU, to Columbia, to NJCU, to Kane, Rutgers Newark, Montclair. Uh, we've also sent them directly into New York City where they can go directly into an acting uh, studio. Uh, some students have bypassed it altogether and have um, just started to work professionally. And uh, also we have, um, you know, students have the option, one, the one great thing about the program, it's a theater arts, liberal arts option. So while, uh, while focusing on theater, we're also covering the students' liberal arts education. So if they choose to go to something else, to another major once they leave here, they, they are 100% equipped to do that. And uh, I, I'm hoping, my, 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 my little dream is that somewhere years from now, they go on their own uh, and buy a Broadway ticket um, just because <laughs> they took a, a class here at this college. It is such an exciting time for the community college because our mission has really expanded to include um, a much richer diversity of programs and um, it's such a great place for students, regardless of their interests academically, uh, to be really focused with um, faculty and with others on campus. Community colleges are teaching colleges. We have a teaching mission and our mission is to meet students where they are and help them move forward in achieving their own goals. And one of the things that we have, are finding nationally as research is being done, uh, in fact, I'm thinking about a recent research study conducted by the, um, the Cook Foundation, the Jack Kent Cook Foundation, which has provided phenomenal scholarships for a number of our students. They're finding that students who started a community college and then transfer to a, a four-year institution, including Ivy Leagues, Research One universities, um, the, the community college students who transfer are outperforming their four-year peers, hmm. which is counter to the stereotype hmm. sometimes of community colleges. But, but I think the reason is our students tell us that this is a family, that this is a place. You, you alluded to the fact that this is a caring environment. You yeah. feel it's a caring place. And our students again and again are telling us this this has become much more than <clears throat> attending classes, which is what they came here to do. It's become an extended family. It's a place where I feel uh, a connection with people, where people care about me. And it's a place where uh, faculty know students on a first name basis. So um, uh, I guess it's my job to be a promoter of the community college, but I really believe not only in community colleges, but Hudson County Community College, that uh, in my 40 year career in higher education, absolutely has been the most inspirational um, college I've ever experienced, both as an undergraduate, graduate, and in my career. Um, our students have life-changing transformational opportunity here. Right. So it's always fun to, to showcase our students and talk about our programs. Well, I think, you know, as well, the fact that we are so, especially for the theater program, because we are so close to New York City that, you know, I often tell, you know, students like there's, there's, a, there's a student, a theater student somewhere out in the Midwest who's dreaming about coming to New York City. You're here. You're already in New York City. And by the time they get here, you have one, you already have a leg up on them career wise because you know, um, you know how to ride the subway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know your way around the city, and you know, arguably, New York is New York, London, Chicago. These, these are you know the theater centers of the world, and I always tell uh, you know a, a story um, about taking a class. Every semester, we would go to to the drama bookstore with the, with the students, and I remember uh, you know the students would be milling around, looking at different plays and exploring different playwrights that I had given them to uh, research. And I remember seeing a little group surround our students, and everybody was very animated and talking, and I went over and they were a group of students from the University of Oregon and they were I heard one student say oh my god you can come here all the time and I was like yes you can and I reminded the students of that is indeed something to be uh, proud of and something to know that that is a huge advantage for coming to Hudson County Community College and Joseph you know uh, currently we're of course experiencing uh, the challenge of the pandemic and Broadway is not um, performing but um, when we get to the new normal and in, in the past before the pandemic, how have uh, you introduced students 
to some of the resources in uh, metropolitan New York? It's a good question. Actually, every semester uh, we have uh, multiple guest artists who come out from New York City. Uh, the, the college has been very, very supportive in terms of, uh, of me being able to br uh, afford to bring student, uh, excuse me, to bring guest instructors out. Uh, every semester we go to see one uh, Broadway show and then we go to see an off-Broadway show as well. And like I said um, uh, earlier, we always take a trip to the drama bookstore, which is currently Currently shuttered, but is supposed to reopen um, uh, hopefully in the fall. So it, it uh, actually, Lynn Manuel Miranda actually purchased uh, the drama bookstore uh, so that it wouldn't go under. And uh, that's a, a scheduled to open sometime this year. Of course, you know the pandemic. We have to see you know how schedules collide. So what a phenomenal opportunity our students have uh, right here in metropolitan New York. Uh, to meld their program with, uh, with all of the um, world-class programming that's, that's happening around us. Rosella, have you had an opportunity to, uh, to go to any plays or to, to go to New York with other Hudson County Community College students? Well, yes, actually. Um, last semester, before this whole pandemic thing, we were able to go with my theater class to watch two off-Broadway plays. One was in Hoboken and the other one was in New York. They were Pipeline and Seared. And it was nice being able to go with all of my classmates mm -hmm. and because before I would just go by myself to watch a Broadway show and it was nice to be able to be there and talk together and share our opinions mm -hmm. and you know just have fun, I guess. Do you, do you, have you had an opportunity to get to know some of our other students? Yes, well? I made some friends, which uh, was unexpected, but I was really happy about. Um, I'm not the most outgoing person, but the, the theater class was actually the first class that I was able to meet new people. Fantastic. So, so Professor Gallo, it's all about the students. Yes. Linked to that as well, we also have um, an internship program, which we do in unison with Miles Square Theater in Hoboken, uh, where I'm the playwright in residence. And one of the things I'm most proud of about that, about that program is that last Christmas, we were doing our holiday show at Miles Square Theater, and um, I was in attendance, and I looked around, and I noticed that literally every member of the staff was a Hudson County Community College graduate who had been an intern in the program and was now working at the theater. So um, it is not only a, a program that serves the students, the students then graduate and come back and serve the community. Uh, and in this case, that community is theaters. How have you seen students change and grow from the time you first meet them to, let's say, the time of commencement? Wow. Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, you have a lot of students who will who'll come into the room and they, they'll either say, you know, I love theater or I am here because it's something I'm curious about or I am here because I want to come out of my shell and I just want to see if theater can do that. And, you know, I tell students on the first day of intro to acting, I say, when we get to week 15, you will be a different person and a better person and a better student because of the, uh, because of the exercises that we do here, the, um, the uh, support that we build into the program, into each of our classes. And uh, we make it, um, you know, a, not only a friendly environment, but a safe environment for students to learn and to grow. We have a tradition when we end these out of the box podcasts. I always ask my guests if they could choose one word to describe their Hudson County Community College experience. What word would that be? What comes to mind, Rosella? Um, unexpected, I guess. <laughs> unexpected, and Joseph? Uh, I would say blessed. I feel blessed to be a part of Hudson County Community College. I, I feel blessed to be working in the theater, and I feel um, lucky to teach our students. Blessed, unexpected, my word is always inspirational because I am inspired every day by our students, faculty, and staff, and by this great college. I want to thank uh, my guests again, Pro Professor Joseph Gallo and Rosella Lopez. And thank you all for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast, and uh, we hope you'll watch future podcasts. We also have tapes of former podcasts. Please visit us at hccc.edu. Thank you all. Have a wonderful holiday, and uh, please stay safe and well.